Hi, everyone. Welcome to our second energy chat. I'm Valerie Dudley with Cornell Cooperative Extension of Delaware County, and we are pleased to be hosting Bob Romick today. Bob is a volunteer uh, energy navigator with Get Your Greenbacks Tompkins and works part time repairing medical equipment at Cornell University. He and his wife are restoring an 1850s farmhouse in Lodi, New York. Uh, Bob is going to present about how to reduce your heating bill. Take it away, Bob. Hi, Valerie. Uh, thanks. Uh, let's see. I should start my um, start my uh, my presentation here. Okay, that looks like it. Um, so we're going to talk about reducing your home's energy load. Um, Let's see, where's my, uh, there we go. Um, if we want to reduce our home's energy load, why? Well, one of the reasons is uh, because of those heating bills that you get um, can, be, uh, can be tough. Some people want to reduce their home's energy load uh, because it will help climate change. Uh, and that's a very good thing. Reducing your home's energy load will also make your home a lot more comfortable. Now, how are we going to do it? Uh, I think we've all heard many of the ways you can reduce your home's energy load. Uh, make sure your windows are latched in the winter time. Uh, close your curtains. Uh, and when the sun's beating in on them in the summertime, maybe even turn your thermostat down. But I want to take an even bigger picture than that. Uh, let's, let's try and get the big stuff. If you look at how people spend energy in their home, how, how people use energy in their home, you'll look at this big blue piece on this pie, and heating and cooling are far and away the biggest uh, energy users in your home. Uh, this is a national graph, 47% uh, nationally. It's even higher here in the Northeast. Uh, we use a lot of energy for heating and cooling, uh, for heating mostly. Now, I want to look at the cost for heating three average size homes in upstate New York. Uh, look at the middle one. The average that people spend for an average home in upstate New York to heat it for a whole year is around $2,000. Now you take that same average sized home, if it's very leaky, if there's a lot of insulation missing or done poorly, you could be spending twice as much to heat your home as your neighbor does who's got an average home. And that's not a good thing. Uh, not only is your heating bill higher than it needs to be, your home has a lot of drafts, uh, the same temperature feels a lot colder, it's noisier, uh, that cold air rushing in brings uh, moisture, it brings dirt, it brings contaminants in. Um, it's just not as nice of a home. On the other hand, if you have a very well sealed and insulated home, same size home, it's gonna only cost you less than $400 to heat for the whole season. That's a lot less. Um, now I'm not showing you all these numbers to make you feel bad about your home. I'm showing these numbers because we can make a change. These, how, <laughs> how leaky, how hard your home is to heat can be improved. Um, something I learned the last couple of years is that the air leaks in your home all add up significant amounts. Maybe a window's not quite sealed as tight as it should be. Uh, maybe there's a little gap where the plumber uh, put, the, uh, put the pipe in for your air conditioner or for your outdoor hose. All the little cracks and gaps in your home together will add up around to the size of an open window. Well, I don't know about you, uh, but if somebody left the window open 
in my house in January, I would not be happy. Um, now the answer to see if your home is energy tight, you could look at your heating bill and you're not really sure, is that too high, is that too low? Um, but when we live in New York, we can get a free energy audit on our home. This is almost everybody in New York. There are a few exceptions, uh, but almost everybody in New York can get a free energy audit. Uh, now it changed this year. If you've had this audit done before, you can get it again. Uh, and the energy audit, uh, you would, when you sign up a, um, a local contractor who's a certified professional, uh, a certified professional in uh, building performance will come into your home and they'll check your home for air leaks. They'll check your home for insulation levels. They'll look at your appliance efficiency and even do a few health and safety checks too while they're there in the bargain. Um, one of the things they'll do, the main tool they use is a blower door. Um, this big red thing is a big fan that they can put in the in place of one of your doors. Um, uh, it sucks the air out of your house, uh, not all of it, uh, but depressurizes it so that then they can find all the air lakes. And this blower door is instrumented and they can tell exactly how leaky your house is. Um, the pressure they put on their house on your house, is intended to simulate a 20 mile an hour wind blowing on your house. And that's when the, the air leaks will show up. Um, here's a picture from the EPA showing you where some of the common air leaks people have in their house are. Um, notice the blue arrows are the cold air leaking in in the winter and the red arrows are the hot air leaking out. Uh, that's heat that you paid for escaping into the attic and outside, uh, maybe even causing ice dams <laughs> on your roof. Um, now the cold air leaking in can be through leaky windows, it can be through little gaps in the construction, it can be where there's a fan duct or uh, around, a, around an outlet plate. There are just dozens of places where the air can leak out. Um, something to think about in this house is that is the stack effect. Um, I'm throwing a lot of information at you here, but a, but a chimney stack works because the hot air in the chimney goes up and rises and the cold air gets pulled in through the bottom. Um, your house in the wintertime is like a miniature chimney and the hot air that you paid for is going up through little cracks up into your attic and the cold air is coming in through the lower parts in your house. Um, another thing that the energy auditor will use is a thermal camera. Um, this is a picture of the outside of a house with a thermal camera. And you can see that one wall is red and one wall is yellow. There is a difference in, in the heat that's being, um, being released from your house. The insulation is not even somehow. Um, notice the red over by the chimney. Uh, it's perhaps not insulated as well in that spot. Um, the auditor will walk around with you with a thermal camera look at your walls, look at your windows, look at your ceiling. He can tell exactly where the, there might be insulation missing, where there might be issues with your home. Now, how do I sign up for one of these great energy audits? Um, this free energy audits that's not costing you anything, actually. Um, sometimes I'm afraid to get something that's free, um, but the, these energy audits are something that we already paid for. Uh, there's a line on your energy bill, on your electrical bill, uh, for energy services or something. Um, anyways, that covers um, this home energy audit. Um, if you live in Delaware County, the best way to apply for a home energy audit is to get in contact with Valerie Dudley. Um, 
and she can she can hook you up with a local contractor who will be able to do this free energy audit. Um, something else to think about your your home and the money you spend on heating and cooling is the efficiency of your um, is the efficiency of your heater, the efficiency of your air conditioner. Um, the future in efficiency is electric. If you want to save the most money uh, on, a, on a heating system in your home, 100% electric, um, heat pumps have gone a lot, come a long way in the last 20 years. Um, electrical, electric heating is also 100% green. And you can use that electrical for your, for your heating and cooling, for your water heater, your clothes dryer, your cook stove. Um, you can even have an electric car. Uh, now a question a lot of people ask when they think about their home heating is what is a heat pump? These are new enough. We don't have a lot of experience with them. Uh, there are two main types of heat pumps for homes. Uh, one is this air source uh, also called a ductless or mini split uh, heat pump. And it has an air compressor outside and it draw, actually draws heat from the outside and transfers it inside your house. Or in the summertime, it can extract the cool <laughs> from the outside. It can cool your inside and heat the outside again, running backwards. Um, the other type of a heat pump is a ground source or geothermal heat pump. And it uses, um, it draws heat from the ground. They either drill wells and have vertical uh, fields or they dig trenches and have the pipes laid horizontally in your yard. And a heat pump seems like magic, uh, but it works just like a refrigerator uh, going backwards. A refrigerator keeps things cold, even frozen inside your warm house. And on the back of your refrigerator, it's very warm because it's removing heat from the freezer and refrigerator and pushing it out into the rest of your house. That's what a heat pump does. It moves the heat. Um, if you're technical, it compresses the refrigerant and changes it from a gas to a solid and that makes it very hot. And then you can use that hot to heat your home or release the heat on the outside in air conditioning mode. And then it has a, an expansion valve and that releases the pressure and changes it uh, from, a, from a liquid to a gas and that makes it very cold. And that very cold air can, can, then, um, can then absorb heat on the outside. Um, now, uh, not too many years ago, I, when heat pumps were newer, they didn't work very well here in the north, uh, in the cold weather areas. Um, some heating contractors uh, still don't realize that heat pumps have come a long way in the last 20 years, and they can work very efficiently. They can work in temperatures of, of minus 10 or colder, and they are two or three times more efficient than electric heat. And they are a much better bet for your money. If you're installing a new heater, by all means, uh, look at a heat pump. It's going to save you money in the long run. Um, now, here's a slide. Here's some energy data, uh, long-term energy data. Uh, now, this slide is uh, five years out of date, but it shows you a trend. Um, propane is the red line, and notice how much propane costs per heat to heat your house. And heating oil is also a very expensive way to heat your house. I want you to notice something else is, and that's that the price is really volatile. It goes up and down a lot. Um, currently, um, propane and heating oil are, are very inexpensive, um, but it's not gonna stay that way. The green and, uh, and blue lines show the price of electric and wood pellets, and those prices are very low to each your house. Um, 
and they're projected to go even lower as more and more renewables uh, come online. Uh, they're becoming more and more efficient. Um, and that's about it. The big picture on uh, how to save money on heating your home is really to bring in an expert and get a home energy audit on your home. Uh, somebody that can look at your individual house and see exactly what's going on and advise you on the best way and the easiest way to save money in the long term for your house. Uh, thanks. Uh, Valerie? Thanks, Bob, for sharing such great information about saving money on your heating bills. I, that was really interesting and informative and clear. Um, I did want to let folks know that there are some fantastic new incentive programs from New York State to help low and moderate income families do thousands of dollars of free energy upgrades on their homes. Um, if you're a family of four, the income cutoff is 57,564 to be eligible for Empower and Weatherization Assistance Program. Uh, both of these programs give free energy upgrades such as insulation and sealant. Um, and also if um, for moderate income families, um, the income cutoff is 115,000 for a family of four in order to get um, matching funds of up to $5,000 uh, for energy upgrades. Um, so basically, most everyone is eligible for at least um, matching funds, um, which is basically half of whatever you spend up to $5,000. Um, so yes, as Bob said, the way to begin is with a home energy audit, which is free to every New Yorker. Um, so you can contact me at 607-865-6531 for information on, on the audit and um, on Empower and weatherization, as well as information on great incentives for renewable heat and solar energy. There's all kinds of options to reduce your utility bills and make your home more comfortable. Thanks again, Bob. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. Have a great afternoon.